Just read something else there. Um, I'll just slide it just historical interest. When I was in England, I joined the West Hampton Dorset Car Club, and um, I went to several of the races as a marshal. And um, this was Silverstone. Um, The British Grand Prix, I marshalled the 1951 British Grand Prix. Um, and uh, it was the BRM in its first outing. It was a dead failure. Um, that was Raymond Mays, one of the people behind the BRM, British Racing Motors. But, um, and these were quite famous um, his continental drivers. Um, this one here. That's a Sterling Moss. Ah. Yes, and a little, a little kift. Yes. Yeah. Um, that was the end of the British Grand Prix when Fongio and his compatriot had won. That's me bringing my Hawthorne onto his grid position. Ah. He became a world champion. And this me again there, yes. I remember I was put at the gate and uh, another one of these little moments and uh, Colonel Ship said to me now when each competitor arrives uh, here's a clipboard and they've got to sign the indemnity certificate saying they will not sue the club if anything happens to them he said do not let them in under any circumstances until they have signed that form so I said right so they, most of them were quite affable and signed it and then quite a queue had formed and there was a little 500cc racing car about five back and this chap stood up and he had a cavalry moustache and a tweed cap what's the bloody hold up and I said I've got to get everyone to sign and he said oh my god a bloody colonial <laughs> and the bloke who was with me at the moment said don't take any notice of it, he's a club bore. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh,